So now after I've gotten to the end here, I've always got one left, but that's where you join it. So you just make two more chains. Sometimes just one chain is probably enough because it looks a little ruffly, but that's fine. And then just find that first top of the post on the last one and slip stitch through it if it wants to go there. And then that's it. And then cut it off. And finish it off. Tighten it up. And then that's your little circle ruffle. And so the next one, take the next color, and I just grab, I don't know, four to six inches of thread. I go to what, that space that I created. All these chain two spaces is where you stitch in next. So you just join the thread, hook it up, chain one, push it to the side, and in the same one, you go do the same thing. Double crochet, again, the double crochet that we know or the double crochet that I just thought of doing it looks like it's the lazy man's double crochet but it doesn't matter because it looks the same so there you've got three in here now push those threads to the back make one chain and then do another double crochet in the next space three times I keep mixing both techniques up, but it doesn't matter. I want to do this one, but I keep resorting to the old one. So then you get there. You do one chain, because as you're getting bigger, you need less, well, more space, less space. But so there's a double crochet. It doesn't look like a double crochet. I do a real double crochet here. One, gosh, they keep slipping. Two double crochets, three double crochets. Okay. And that's your granny stitch right there. So then again, I do one, and again, you do one chain or two, depending on the space you need, but this looks like one is going to be just fine. So you make that again, do another three double crochets in that space, and you work in those spaces, so that's what the granny stitch does. 